So we all know when it comes to streaming or gaming, having a good solid internet connection is very important. It doesn't matter what device you're running, doesn't matter what service you're using, if your internet or your Wi-Fi is horrible, you are gonna have a horrible experience. So today we're taking a look at MeshForce Home Mesh Network. And these are the M3S models. Now this box has three nodes or three connection points and they all talk to each other to give you a blanket coverage in your household. So if you have dead spots in your house, this should resolve that issue. So before we jump into the specs and the details of this, just note that I have three of these units on hand. Two will be giveaways. So make sure you stay tuned, watch the entire video, and don't miss your opportunity to win one of these home mesh systems. Let's go ahead and jump into it. If you're new, I do everything tech from streaming news, streaming reviews, product unboxing and reviews, and everything in between. So definitely hit that subscribe button in the top right. Also hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when a new video or giveaway is announced. So big shout out to Mesh Force for sponsoring this video. And once they reached out to me, guys, I went to Amazon and one of the things that stood out is the actual rating. So looking at the ratings, 479 reviews, and they almost have a five star, almost a perfect rating. And also use promo code MQ triple for additional 10% off. Let's go over some of the main specifications of this product. AC1200 simultaneous dual band Wi-Fi. Now this of course have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz up to 867 megabits per second. 2.4 gigahertz gives you up to 300 megabits per second. Now this also has beamforming technology, uh, MIMO, whatever you guys wanna call it. The security is WPA and WPA2. One, share gigabit WAN slash LAN port and one gigabit LAN. So it supports PPOE, dynamic as well as static IP addresses, as well as bridge mode. All right, that's just a quick illustration of a, a deal setup for your network. So maybe you have your main router or modem in one corner of the house. You can essentially put one next to that router, one in the middle, and the other one on the far end. And they will essentially talk to each other and give you a good coverage. Now, as far as the mesh unit itself, this particular box came with three nodes. However, you can purchase one, you can purchase two, just depending on your need. And also very important to note is that you can use this as your router, guys. You don't have to put it in a mesh configuration, but you can always add units as you need. So you can purchase one, you can purchase two, or you can purchase three. You can add up to six of these mesh nodes on one setup. So that's pretty cool. So you can always expand if you move into a bigger house or if your circumstances change. So one mesh point gives you 1,500 to 2,500 square feet coverage. Two give you three to 4,500 square feet and three will give you up to 6,000 square feet. So that's a pretty large uh, coverage area. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's in the box. All right, so we have some um, some information there. Register your product, download the app, My Mesh. We'll be getting to that in a little bit, and also some contact information if you need help. We have our user's manual, and we have one, two, three. And along with that, we do have the power adapter. So one, two, three. We also have one Ethernet cable, and this will connect your main mesh to your router or to your modem. So as far as the actual units itself, uh, these are a lot lighter than I expect. Uh, design looks pretty good. It has this triangular design on top. It is kind of pyramid shaped. Also important to note is that on the bottom, you actually have mounting. So if you wanted to put it on the wall or something like that, that option is available. Mesh Force logo in the front, you have a LED indicator. And on the back, you have a reset. You have your WAN slash LAN. This will go to your actual router or modem. You also have a LAN, so you guys can use this to plug in a device or whatever your configuration is. And last thing, you do have your power. Another thing to note is that it doesn't matter which one of these units you use as your main. All you need to do is pick one, plug it into your modem or router, and then set up the main one, then you can add the additional points. So here's the app that we need to use. It's called My Mesh. You can find it on iOS or Android. So once you have the app downloaded, you can see right here, my ethernet cable is plugged into the WAN port, the one with the globe. Let's go ahead and get it plugged in. All right, you can see the LED is a solid green. And we'll just give it a second. 
Now, in the meantime, the app provides some instructions. Tap on your Wi-Fi settings, select the SSID and enter the password to connect. The default SSID and password are specified on the label of your device. So in our Wi-Fi, we should see that network on here. So in our Wi-Fi settings, you can see we have my mesh. Let's go ahead and connect. Now the password should be on the bottom of your device. All right, so look like we are connecting. And we are connected guys. So let's go back to the application. So just like that, we are connected. You can see uh, it gives you a basic setup with the best uh, Wi-Fi coverage. So let's go to setup. So it's identify my connection type. Your internet connection type is dynamic IP. So from here I can hit continue or I can choose your connection type manually. Let's see what's in there. All right, so we have the options of uh, DHCP, PPOE, a static IP. So I'm just going to leave it as is. You guys feel free to change whatever you need to. I'm going to hit next. So now you get to give your network a new name. I'm just going to name mine triple mesh. Play on the words there. I'm just going to give it a password. So now it's confirmed successfully. Please reconnect to the Wi-Fi triple mesh and put in the password. So now we got to go back to our settings. Remember that the old mesh network will not be there. So there it is right there, triple mesh. We'll click on that and let me just go ahead and put in my password. I am connected and let's go back into it. So next we get to add the other mesh points in the kit. So let me click next. After finding a good location, place the node and power it on. Wait until the LED blinks. So for me, what I normally do is just get everything connected in the same place. So let me just, um, I'm gonna set this one up as my second um, access point. I'm gonna let it um, do its thing, cycle through and start flashing. And I'll just do them one at a time. And when I'm done, I can pick it up, put it where I need to, and I can readjust as needed. Check the connection status based on the color of the LED. So green is excellent, yellow is fair, and red is disconnected. So very good that that's actually a part of it. That way you can look at the device at a glance and say, hey, this has a weak connection. Or you can say, hey, this connection is okay. So nice that um, these LEDs actually have different colors that they changed to. All right, so click OK. So pop-up said I can log in to access anything from the cloud. So I'll probably do that setup a little bit later, but that's cool to know that if you're connected to the account, you can actually manage this from anywhere. So, so you can see that the second node has been connected. So pretty cool. So mesh network has been completed. Now I can move it to wherever I need to. So you do have a settings right here at the bottom. Let me just go into that real fast. So the settings, you have your wireless. So you have the name of your network. Basically, you have your guest network. You can set that up as well. You also have parental control, internet settings, quality of service. You can add a mesh network, fast roaming, capacity oriented, smart assist, port forwarding, UPnP, DHCP server, DNS, firmware upgrade, and maintenance schedule. So in the settings, there are two key features that I wanted to go over briefly. So first is the guest network, guys. And this is pretty straightforward. You click on it, and you have all your options there to enable your guest network. So it takes the name of the original network, but you can go ahead and change that if you wanted to. You can also set your password, and below that, you get to set the validity period. So if you only want it to be active for eight hours or four hours, maybe you're having a party or something, and you want them to be able to access the internet, but not know your Wi-Fi security settings, this is where this will come in handy. The other setting that I wanna go over a little bit is a parental control. So if you click on that, you then have the option to add groups. Just gonna name mine kids devices. I'm gonna click next. And now it actually lists all the devices that's on your network. For the most part, they'll have the name on it. You can see Roku TV at the bottom. We have the Apple Watch, iPad. The one that we're looking for is the Nintendo Switch. And even though it doesn't say it, I know that this one right here is a Nintendo Switch. So I'm just gonna select that item. And if you have multiple items, you can select as many as possible. Once you select those items, click complete. And now you have a group with those devices. And from here, you can also create more groups if you wanted to. So working with the kids' devices. So if I click on that now, you now have control over their internet access. So if I wanted to do an instant kill switch on their network connectivity, all I have to do is press that button right there. And you can see it killed their network connection. Turn it back on. You can also add more devices to this group. And below that, you can specify the period. So if I click on that, guys, I now get to add a period. So from here, I can give the period a name, I can select the start and end time, and I can even go down and do the effective date. So essentially you can put this on a schedule where you can say every Monday and Tuesday, nine to five, I want this to be on. After that is turned off, and you can adjust that accordingly for the weekend. 
So those are two key settings that is worth mentioning in my opinion. However, if you want a more detailed setup, I will be putting a link to the MeshForce website where they have more details if you need them. Let's do a baseline speed test right here. All right, so keep in mind guys, I am paying for a 400 megabits per second. Uh, right at the mesh, this is probably the best case scenario. You can see I'm getting a little bit over 300, which isn't terrible. You do lose some speed when you connect it to Wi-Fi. But what I'm gonna do now, I have a baseline, I have 305 download, I have about 22, 23 upload. And we're gonna get these situated. Let me just do a rough draft of how I'm gonna lay this out. So my drawing is horrible, so keep that in mind. So a house is a two-story house. We're currently right here, guys. We're in the home office. This is where all the nodes are. This is where all the networking gear is. So this is where the first access point is gonna be. In the home office, I'm gonna put the second one in the master bedroom. And the third one is gonna go downstairs in the living room. So one, two, three. And they should have a nice little overlap which um, should allow them to talk to each other. So hopefully this makes sense. Let's go ahead and get them set up. I'm gonna walk the area and just see what speeds I'm getting. So for the most part, the speeds are pretty good. The first speed test, which I did in the office, I got 305 download and 23 upload. The second one was in my master bedroom, which is upstairs about two walls over. Uh, for that speed test, I got 251 download and 23.1 upload. Now downstairs is the one I was most worried about because you go through the crawl space, you have a couple walls separating it as well. So for that, I actually came out pretty good. For the test, I got a 189 download and 22.8 upload. So no matter where I go in the house, guys, I do have good Wi-Fi coverage. Having tested out a couple mesh networks, this was the one that gave me the fastest speeds throughout. So the connection from node to node was always excellent. Always had the green LED, didn't run into any issues there. The speeds were really impressive as well. The setup was pretty straightforward. The app was easy to understand. Uh, one step I didn't show you guys is that naming the nodes was pretty straightforward as well. You click on the one that you want to name, click on the location, and then you can go ahead and select where that node is located. Now how you would identify is that when you go into the app, the name name of the node is going to be the last couple digits of your serial number so that's how you know which one's which so you'll have to flip it over to know where it is located and once that's done it's easier to troubleshoot so if one's down or one's giving you issues one's in the ready know which one to go directly to instead of searching around for it as far as the dislikes only two things i can think of is one i wish that mesh force would actually give us a couple color options or at least another color option maybe a black version that way when you actually put it in certain locations it doesn't stick out as much the white the design itself is pretty awesome but i just wish there were other options i know people would like the option of having at least another color to choose from the other thing i noticed is that the nose doesn't have the rubber legs underneath so it might slide around when you put it on a slick surface but overall it's a good product currently on amazon for 179 but use promo code mqmm for additional 10 percent off as far as the giveaway i know everyone's been waiting so i did receive three mesh systems from mesh for so big shout out to them for sponsoring this video as well as this giveaway i will be giving away two of these and what you need to do is one make sure you subscribe to the channel and your notification bell is checked two smash a thumbs up on this video and drop a comment in the comment section let me know why you need this mesh system now once that's all done you're automatically entered i will be releasing a giveaway announcement in the next couple days make sure your notification bell is checked guys make sure you select all on notification that way if you wanted to the winners you won't miss out that's it for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one